Hello, my name is Derek McPherson. I'm the lead game designer for EverQuest Next and EverQuest Next Landmark. In today's Dev Diary, I'd like to talk to you about some of the tools that you'll be using as you harvest and as you explore an EverQuest Next Landmark. When you begin the game, you'll begin with a copper pick. This copper pick will enable you to use uh, and access all the Tier 1 materials and resources in the world. So these, uh, these resources include things like uh, tin. And once you've gathered enough tin and iron, you'll be able to make an iron pickaxe. This iron pickaxe will then allow you to get silver and amethyst and topaz. And this is a progression that continues on through five tiers of resources. There are four types of, res of tools that you can get in the game. I mentioned the pick. You can get a sickle, you can get an axe, and you can get a bucket. The bucket is for liquids, things like lava. So once you've got these materials and once you've gone through the progression, all five tiers, and you've gathered all the, the rare resources like obsidian and lava, you can then use those to create materials, uh, very much like you would craft a recipe. So when you, when you want to create a, um, a mahogany staircase, you've got to get a, a gold axe and you've got to go harvest dark wood and then make a staircase out of this wood using those resources. Um, it's a very fun um, progression in gameplay. Uh, let's go look at some of the materials that you'll be able to craft using the resources that you harvest in EverQuest Next. Here we have a few types of stone. We start with the small cobbles, moving all the way up to the very large stones. Use those to build walls. Uh, we have a very smooth um, marble and, uh, and something you might want to make roads out of as well. Um, here's some snow and some ice blocks that have been carved. We also have some, uh, couple, ty couple types of our gemstones as well as some sand and some rocks and some stone. The various types of wood, all the way from flooring uh, to, to shingles on a, on, a, on a house. Here's some uh, riveted metal, as well as some metal with some striations on it. And here's a very large um, iron block and some obsidian and some um, lava texture as well. So, all very good things for you to, to be uh, building with and constructing with, but you have to find all of these materials in the world and uh, go through the progression to find, all of, to, all, to find all of them and be able to use them. As a special treat, we thought we'd take you through the castle that Dave Jorson recently posted on Twitter. Let's see how he's made this. You can see he's used some, some props here, some, some light sources, a couple types of stone, both a cobblestone and a large stone, some more props, Let's go into the kitchen here. So as you see, some of these objects have particles and lighting effects on them. Um, we have a forge in here. Also, he put a, a pretty large light source. There's a, a number of props that are, you're able to use to decorate. Let's descend down into the basement and see what else there is. We have a group of benches and some small light sources. And some small floor that, that he's put, some mushrooms and some crystals in the small very enclosed garden. Well, it looks like someone has broken into the bottom of Dave's castle. I wonder if he knows this. Maybe next time we'll go down and look. Thank you for joining us today on the Dev Diary. We appreciate the time you've taken to watch this, and we'll see you later. Sony.